welcome back to Plymouth where we're house hunting with Mark and Hannah. And if a house looks good in this weather, it'll look good in any weather. Yesterday we showed Mark and Hannah three houses. The first was a Victorian terrace with plenty of space, but they had concerns about the busy road. The second was a 1930s house with lots of period style, but without the right feeling for Mark and Hannah. And the third had space, original features and lots of feeling. But for this family, one serious drawback. We were completely in love with it, but it has no garden. Uh -huh. And um, for every good thing we we can say about it, it has to have that enormous but it has no garden. Sure. We've got appointments to get to. Right. Let's, Let's go. Let's go. On. So it's the start of day two, and firstly we're off back to popular Manor Mead. This period property has five bedrooms across three storeys and has an asking price of £155,950. Here we have another room with fantastic corner sink, ceiling rose. The ceiling is gorgeous, it's isn't it? Gorgeous. In both rooms. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go on, give us your first impression, got to ask. It's lovely. I really like the connecting archway between the sitting room and the original dining room. Mm -hmm. I like the kitchen. It has a very unfinished feel about it, does. it. But what it does have is the lovely cooking and talking at the same time. I particularly like the fact that we're a bit lifted above them. Superior you know, feeling yes. is always a good thing when you're producing a wonderful meal for yes, someone. exactly. <laughs> this house has got five bedrooms. That's one more than Mark and Hannah need. And one of them could make a perfect playroom for the kids. This structure is called a dormer window and it extends back from the roof line. This one's actually original, but lots of people do want to put them onto their houses. If you're trying to put one on today, you will need planning permission because they're considered extensions. And we had a local quote for a good sized dormer window at £6,000. My tip to you is don't scrimp on a scruffy dormer. You're playing about with the structure of the roof and a badly constructed one will seriously upset a surveyor. Nice location. Very quiet. Everything that we want. Five bedrooms, extra bedroom. But it's just, it doesn't feel right. It doesn't have that feeling. It's that elusive feeling thing again. Another great house that ticks all the right boxes, but still not the one. So, for our next property, we're trying a slightly different approach. This house has no feeling at all, at the moment. But we think it could be exactly what our couple are looking for. This Georgian house has five bedrooms and is being extensively renovated. The asking price is £145,000. It may all look a bit scary now, but the house has plenty of light and space and bags of potential. With so much to take in, we're leaving Mark and Hannah to their own devices. This would be the living room, right? Yeah, I presume so. I think it might need some electrics. That's kind of interesting. Weird, but interesting. Yeah. See, the thing is, because it's in such a beautiful road and a dead end park at the end, when that's finished, there'll be people crawling all over it. So I think, I hope they like it. I hope they can see through it. I think they There's will There's a lot to see through. You have to have a lot of imagination. I know you're better than this at me, but I'm finding this really hard to see through this. We've lost the height on the ceilings. And there's no... Coving or... Cornice. The whole soul of the house has just been torn from it. Can you muster any feel for this house? Of course not, because it's just like a horrible, manky, used before, ripped, blank canvas. You had a good snoop about. Mm. Mm. <laughs> the look of your face. <laughs> no amount of vision. I don't think it is so much the vision. I can see what house this could become. Yeah. Honestly, I can. I have yeah. got vision. You cannot manufacture feel. I totally disagree. Up and down this street, and it's a Grade 2 listed street, there are other houses which haven't been mucked around with, which have the cornicing and have the fireplaces and have the feel. There are ways of recreating that. And that isn't faking it. It isn't modernising it. It's essentially restoring it. I know what you mean about feel. I really, I, I completely know what you mean. But you can put feel back. Hmm. Something tells us Mark and Hannah aren't convinced. So, on to our final house. It's an Edwardian mid-terrace. There are five bedrooms, two of them within the attic conversion, and it's on the market for £165,000. 
nice. Even though this isn't a Victorian house, it does have nice features. I don't want you to go around the house thinking it's 165 pounds. It's not. It's right. an asking price and a right. high one. And we did some research before we decided to bring you here, and houses in this area of this size are selling for about 150 to 155. So they're way off the mark. They're being cheeky. Now, there's five bedrooms and one bathroom at the moment. This is the main bedroom. I've had a bit of fun decorating this one. <laughs> <laughs> It's a very nice sized room, isn't it? It's not too big, no. but it's still very spacious. Do you have any large pieces of furniture that you absolutely have to bring with you? We have two wardrobes, and, and we wouldn't want to have to repurchase lots and lots of furniture because it doesn't fit into the bedroom. People come to us all the time making the biggest financial decision of their life based on whether the kitchen can fit their fridge. Unless it's a family heirloom, mm. don't let it cloud your vision. OK. Remember that it's not decorated exactly to our taste at but the moment. But none of it is urgent, eye-shocking business. No. No, nothing is it's, urgent. It is, it's the middle ground. At the moment, feel like it's a reasonable house with all of the requirements we needed, and more, because it's got the extra bedroom, that we would like to put an offer in on. So, Mark and Hannah have plumped for a house they say is reasonable. Now, does that sound like our touchy-feely couple to you? We're not buying it. So, what would Mark and Hannah's £150,000 get them elsewhere in the country? This three-bedroom, 17th-century farmhouse in West Kilbride. This two-bed barn conversion in Hale, Lancashire. Or this undeveloped former chapel in Saxelby in Lincolnshire. In Plymouth, it's the start of our third rather damp day of house hunting. Mark and Hannah say they've found the house they want, but we think their hearts aren't in it. So we're going back to Leafy Stoke to have one last try to find Mark and Hannah the house of their dreams. This Victorian house has four bedrooms and it's just come on the market. It has an asking price of £145,000. Obviously things are a bit different today. You know that we haven't seen the house. It was advertised first time in the paper yesterday, so we thought we'd whistle round here this morning. In actual okay. fact, on a rainy morning, we were the second people here. Does it have the feeling? So far, yes. I, I like, like the hallway. <coughs> yeah. And I like Very these two nice. rooms. Right. And I can see through the stuff that's here. The spacious kitchen's got a rustic feel, and the bedrooms are a decent size. The tiles on the roof are concrete. They're much heavier than the original slate ones. Sometimes they bow and they sag and they crush the timbers that are underneath them that weren't made to support that sort of weight. I'd be asking the surveyor to have a careful look up in the attic. Above me is a really beautiful cornice with flowers and leaves and buds, but it's been blurred by years and years of paint. You can strip away this paint so that you can see the detail. Take cotton wool pads, soaked in paint stripper, pack them on the ceiling and remove it after 24 hours. The results are fantastic. This is the one. It is though, isn't it? This is definitely the house. I it's... can't believe we're sitting in a bathroom which has a brown suite. But it's so not us. But as we walked up the stairs, we started to run. Yeah. And we started to giggle. And that's, that's because <laughs> it's just got it. I'll tell you, I'm feeling very lucky that we're in this house at all. A, that we found it in the newspaper. Yeah and B, that someone didn't snap it before we got here. We have to tell you that this is the house. <laughs> it's steady. No, no, it's uh, no, no, this is the we house. We need phones and we need calls, mate. It no, needs to happen now. This is a big, big decision you're about yeah, to take. Yeah, and yeah, we've done it. It's from the heart. We know that this is the house that we want to bring up our two daughters in for the next 10, 15 years. How about as a suggestion? We ring the agent and establish what the position is. Hi, it's Phil Spencer. I'm ringing about Stockford Place just to try and establish what the current situation is. Fine. That's really helpful, Jay. We'll have a talk with uh, our purchasers and we'll get back to you this afternoon. There has been quite a lot of interest. Quite a number of people have seen it over the last couple of days. And he says he expects to get pretty close to the asking price. But we think we might be able to help Mark and Hannah get their dream house for less than the £145,000 asking price. Do you want that house for the next half an hour? 
or do you mind if we played the negotiations out a little further? I, I have very little hair and I'm prepared to lose more. So I really do not have a problem with you doing it your way. I try, and I at do, the I end of do. the day, you might get us a couple of grand off. Yeah, you never know. They might you come back know. and say yes. Jay, it's Phil Spencer again. Hi, Phil. I'm pleased to say we've had a good long uh, talk about the property and I'm also pleased to say that they are happy at this stage to make you an offer at 142000 Thank you very much. Pleasure, thank you. Bye-bye. There's no point in him ringing back saying 142 is agreed. We've still got to have it off the market. And I would yeah. still suggest you pay another £1,000 to buy that exclusivity if it wasn't coming yeah, yeah. for. A nerve-wracking half hour later... Jay, it's Phil Spencer. How did you get on with the vendor? If... Mark and Hannah went to 143,000. Would your client be prepared to grant them some exclusivity and take the property off the market? They will take it off the market. 143 would tie it up right now. But they won't show anybody else around the and house. And they won't show anyone else around the house. Fine. Okay. Jay, they're very happy to pay your clients 143,000. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Well done. Well done. Brilliant. Thank you very much. That is amazing. Thank you. Congratulations. Well they successfully completed and moved in in the summer. So, how have they been getting on? We've decorated the sitting room and the dining room, and we wanted to reflect the fact that the house is Georgian. We've made the archway through to the um, dining room rectangular to reflect the windows. And how about that bathroom? That was going to be first on the list. But it's incredibly, incredibly comfortable. This house is really ours. It really feels like our own, and it does feel like the house that we're going to spend the next 15, 20 years in.